Hello, this is Adam Rayner, mounted and stuff TV, and as you can see by what's in shot and that very high rise time, dink, dink, dink noise. There's competitive catapult shooting going on. We're indoors, we're at an old school in Sheffield. But without further ado, I'm, I'm going to notch a certain man on my video camera, because they're in shot. Come over here, you. It's a Mr. Martin Whippet. Now, Whippet ain't your surname, is it? This is your non catapult, isn't it? Oh, yes. It is. And uh, is it true that. Um, well, there's a certain very famous catapult that some say you were the first person to actually make. Oh, look at the look on his face. Oh. <laughs> Say no more. No, no arguments. <laughs> Main thing is, though, is you're, in my opinion, one of the absolute best catapult makers in the whole of the, uh, the UK, bloody global too. People tend to adore your stuff, and you have been an opinion former, Martin. Yes. Yes. yes I have got my own, I've got my own style, my own cool variations. And apart from that, yeah, we don't, that's the way it is. I've got all my, my own preference. I do what I like to do. How long have you been doing that? I've been making cutties for around seven years now. It certainly shows. Is G10 your favourite material? That's oh, that's um, prototyping material, isn't it? Yes, G10 is. I mean, this, the one I'm shooting at the minute is ballistic grade. So. What's the one I've got? Yours is ballistic grid, also got target. I've, I've kept on testing it, I've got a... Oh, trying to get a bit, a bit of a focus on here, let's get in really close and focus on it. This doesn't seem to have many of the words, actual sort of layers. It's no, like, that is a solid black G10, a bit more neutral for me, shall we say. Yes, because the orange one is that I've actually thought, well if I was somewhere I shouldn't be perhaps. <laughs> It might be spottable in your oh, hand. Yes, very. No, no, I'd never do such a thing. Not concealable, but there you are. So, uh, how many shoots have you been on? My first one. No, really? First shoot, yeah. So, I'm, I'm kind of get, I'm, I'm notching catapult aristocracy here on the, on the video camera. Have you entered? Yeah, I'm in the team shoot. Yes. I'm in the team shoot. I'm over. I am a hunter. Yes. Straight from and fro, so we'll see how the paper goes today. What's your favourite pigeon dish? Pigeon dish? It's got to be pigeons with garlic and onion on toast. As easy as that. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing I can add to that. Martin, we've been honoured to make your acquaintance, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. All right, I'm busy collecting catapult aristocracy. Mr. Stephen Clark is just Steve, but on FaceTube you are Steve N, aren't you? It's me, yeah. And the main thing is, is you seem driven by absolute passion for creativity in catapults. You're not known for doing G10, you're not known for making a Reaper. You're known for ever yet making incredibly more bonkers designs and not being happy until you made another one. Yes. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? Um, well, I'm making catapults about 18 months. Is that all? Yeah. Bloody hell, you're a man possessed. Yeah, that's it. You've been looking at all this stuff. Lots of different materials and techniques. It's different things. I like doing, I like doing something different every time. That's why I like the variety about it. You know, I like, I like to mix it up. There's a piece of a skateboard there with gypsy tabs on. Right next to a, a natural bit of wood with bark and what the heck is that shell from? That brass right, shell. Um, something big. <laughs> We're hauling. Next round of shooting starting up. And of course, you've got your uh, high density polyethylene. I can get it in chain. Yeah, fine. <laughs> It also ties a mean monkey's fist. That's Mr. Stephen Clark, findable on Facebook. And here at the um, charity shoot. Yes, it is. Cheers, my love. And that change for the other traders and buying raffle tickets. Well, honour to meet you in person, sir. No problem, Adam. Admire, admire your creativity. There's some beautiful bits of kit. Yeah. Definitely one noisy environment here at the charity shoot today. But because we're in Sheffield, well, this is metal town, isn't it? Not just steel, but lots of foundries as well. And there's one lad from Sheffield, born and bred. He's very, very famous for his foundry business, his castings, being effectively the daddies of the catapult world. They make Gamekeeper John's casted catapults. The PPMG and all the others. But we've got a table full of awesome looking bits of kit. Let's just see if we can get an interview with the man himself after he's finished dealing with his clientele here. Let's get to talk to him. So here's the man himself. We're in your hometown, Peter, are we not? Yes, I'm in Sheffield. So how far away is, is the foundry from here? From here, about 10 miles. So 
still not too bad. No, it's not bad at all. Just off the M1 near Meadow. I have to ask, how long have you been casting these beautiful catapults? Uh... Uh, well, I've been in the foundry industry now for 35 years. Been doing catapults for about 15 years. 15? Wow. Yeah. I just, yeah, how long I've missed out on knowing about the modern catapult trick. I've been into this since I was a little boy, yeah. since the internet, and very rapidly discovering yourself. Yes. And you've got a bunch of new models here today. Yeah, every, most, most of the stuff that we've got on show today is all new product line. Including the legendary pocket poto super grip, but now in caro. <laughs> yep. Put it down and lose the flipping thing. <laughs> I have to buy another one then. <laughs> so is that awesome marketing then? Yeah. Camouflage catapults, people lose them. Lose them and you have to buy another one. Marvellous, uh, marvellous yeah, marketing that, point. That is, <laughs> one, that is one canny businessman, isn't it? <laughs> yes, meanwhile some other fabulous products of Sheffield. Do you know, I called some bloke a blade, thinking it was a generic Sheffield term. Yeah. Wrong. It's one particular Sheffield footy team, isn't it? That's right. If you're a blade. Yeah. So, is that the thing you support? Yes, blue and white. So you use a blade? No, uh, no, I'm not a blade. No. That's the other one? Never been a blade. I'm an owl. I was about to say, that's the other team. That's right? the other team. Yeah, so Raider gets you right. No, no, I wouldn't have to have been a blade, an original blade, because before Sheffield United was called the blades, yeah, it used to be Sheffield United. <laughs> Oh, back in history. No. Yeah. You but, know what I mean? But, 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 <laughs> you're still not old enough to be a blade. No, I'm not young. I'm very young. <laughs> you're a definite legend, though, Mr. H. Well, honoured to meet you, Governor. No problem. Thank you very much. He's hoping to sell lots of catapults out there. Yeah, I have you. Certainly got you. Well, I've got a PPSG myself. And I learned how to shoot it. The damn thing took the heck out of my entire lifelong learning of how to shoot a catapult. I turned it sideways, I watched what other people are doing. I'm five times more accurate and it was offensive. <laughs> it mocked everything I've ever done. <laughs> Beat your stuff, thank you sir. Okay, thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Well, they're calling out the next round. This is what today is all in aid of. I was uh, bearing the coffin of a young lady aged 30 who died of cancer. I was doing that yesterday. So it's kind of dear to my heart. Let's look at these lovely, generous gifts, all of these on the raffle table. John Webb, big game, big game, big game, bear killer, as seen in the videos. Hilarious. today there's lots of people doing some trading and it has to be said that Mr Tony Standish who you've met before in my videos and we've used the word repo in association with your name Tony haven't we? Indeed yes. But as far as my videos concerned it's the first time we've seen your wares is it not? Yes indeed yeah I've been only been there as a UKCA capacity before so that was at the Andover shoot. Cool. I myself managed to swag a really fine example of this man's work but just uh, if you know it, sing the vision on gallery music to yourself. Yes, yeah, that's a long time ago. Look at the beauty of this. One of Tony's big things is he is kinky for wood, which is on the on the side of death. Yeah. Which is brings it back to life. Did you, he brings it back to life. I'm not sure you can hear all that on the uh, microphone, but the big thing. It's not just any old timber, but wood that's been spalted. Yes, indeed, heavily. So could you define spalting for those that don't know? Spalting is a fungus that affects the um, that affects the wood. There's three different types of fungus, primary ones, which is white rot, pigmentation, and zone lines. Uh -huh. And like this is a good example of something that's got a bit of everything. The dark lines are zone lines. The blue discoloration is pigmentation, and this colouring here is white rot. Wow. 
it in itself is all part of the objet true vein that you turn into a beautiful crafted slingshot. I save it from it's, it was gonna it was destined to rot on a forest floor. I've taken it and um, hopefully I've turned it into something beautiful. Bloody brilliant. And each one completely unique. And handmade. In of Devon course. with love. And made in Devon with love, where the clotted cream comes from. <laughs> Beautiful. And ambrosia. <laughs> and ambrosia. Just look at the smooth finish on these bits of woodwork. I was happily making some myself, you know, and then I got a full grip of what you were doing, and I got a slight attack of the arm, bloody. <laughs> Gorgeous. Tony, thank you so much. Cheers, brother. Did you have a big chunk of the organising of today's event? Yes. Yes. As always with all the UKC events. Yeah, but I mean, it's, you know, it's... it's, it's, a, it's There's lots of folks involved. It's just you're the one I know to nag. Yeah, I'm, I'm, the, I'm more of the face because I, I do a lot of the announcements and the groups and that uh -huh. sort of thing. I've got the biggest voice and um, I've got a lot of free time on the internet. So that's, uh, that's a plus as well. Top mate. Tony, thank you so much. No problem. Cheers, Adam. Tony's Reapers, young man. <laughs> well, I have broken my catapult competition virginity. <laughs> it's a team event. They put me in a team of the uh, people least likely to be upset by me not being any bleeding good. But I actually hit one bullseye, proper, absolutely, completely block over bullseye. I felt so clever. Yes. <laughs> and it is different. Shooting competition. Suddenly there's somebody to hold your balls and it's kind of nervous. <laughs> nervous craying. Young Ashley bished on there. So brilliant day, lots of people. Serious money being raised for the uh, palliative care cancer charity there. A bloody worthy shoot. Proud to have been part of it. Adam Rayner. And stuff TV with just a short video here from the uh, charity shoot in Sheffield right at the very end of October 2016 he's a very missed man David Burton okay it's action cam time oh you're on action cam slightly mended because I was kind of packed up but it's Mr John Jeffries and what has to be the single most beautiful piece of antler turned into a catapult I've ever seen in my life. Not that I've seen a lot, but look at this. This is exquisite. Just exquisite. Oh man. How many hours are in that, Mr. Jeffries? Countless. Absolutely countless. A lot of it was all up here plotting, but yeah. Just the bead alone. Look at that. It's just exquisite. Oh man. A bit of the soul of the maker. I love the fact it's nestled in that, in that cloth and Nobody dead touch it, it was... Uh, not yet. Tell me you've shot it. No. You haven't? No. Are you gonna? I might do. You I might do. do. Oh, mate. Look, watch Toy Story 3, young John. I will do. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, mate. That is exquisite. It's Adam Rayner finally signing out from the uh, UKCA charity shoot here in Sheffield. Going home happy and knackered. I've had a go at all my toys. I've seen a load of people. I've met some new mates. That's skip my